hello friends welcome to my channel and uh, thanks for your support always if you've been here i really appreciate your support if you are new please feel very welcome to my channel and uh, please do well to click on that subscription button if you are not yet uh, subscribed uh, to my channel so in this episode i'm going to tell you how to disable a disabled google account or uh, if your youtube channel has uh, been disabled how to unban it so i woke up and i received an email that uh my youtube channel was gone and i knew very well that i had no copyright strikes or any content on my channel which could have led to my youtube channel being terminated or uh, disabled so that is what i want to talk about in this uh, episode what you should do so that you can get back your youtube channel or your google account if uh, it uh, has been disabled so the email i received from youtube was uh, titled youtube account notification so that is the email you receive if you are they terminated your channel so the body reads it was from youtube of course to me youtube accounts to me so they said that we'd like to inform you that due to repeated or severe violations of our community guidelines your youtube account so and so has been suspended after review we determined that activity in your account violated our community guidelines which prohibit spam scams or commercially deceptive content please beware that you are prohibited from accessing possessing or creating any other youtube accounts for more information about account terminations and how our community guidelines are enforced please visit our help center and if you would like to appeal the suspension please submit this form so i was like wow really because i knew that um my account had no history of violation or uh, the community guidelines and they said that which prohibits spam scams or commercially deceptive content and i was 100 percent sure that my channel was clean and in good standing i had no content which could be spam and uh, i had no content which might be termed as spam or scam or commercially deceptive so what i did next is to fill the form and they gave me the link so that form showed me this let me click and show you so first one if you have a, a terminated channel it will show unable to access a google product you cannot access any google product because uh, you have a history of uh, terminated or your account has been disabled so and uh, the, the title reads at help center unable to access a google product so if you believe that your access to a google product has been suspended in error for the account noted below please provide the requested information so if this is not the correct account please try logging in again and um, we'll follow up with you only if we require more information or we have additional information to share so required field is your full name you will write in this case i will let me call myself um brett you can write your full name let me just call myself brett olivia and uh, then they will need there's a section for email address you used to sign into your youtube channel the channel which has been terminated so you will enter your 
your email address information then uh, the next step is the email address we can use to contact you you enter that information then they say that uh, please provide an email address you currently have access to so you can uh, receive our notification regarding the account so if you still have access to the email address you used to sign into your account please re-enter it here so then they will need your url for the suspended youtube channel the one they've terminated so the channel will begin with the https blah 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 stock youtube.com stock channel so please briefly you are required to briefly explain why you think your channel was suspended in error so be sure to review the youtube's community guidelines and copyright policies before submitting your appeal and please note if your appeal involves one or more private videos by submitting this request you are explicitly giving permission to our reviewers to view your private video content so in that box you can say like me i said hello Sa or ma, I would uh, like to submit my appeal because um, my channel had no violations or copyright strikes and I think it was a mistake to suspend my channel kindly review and let me know i look forward to a positive response from your esteemed team for this will go in a long way this will go a long way in realizing my dream to become a successful youtuber and uh, have my channel back then i say the uh, kind regards then you write your name great then you submit your form and uh, below that uh, submission form they say some account and system information will be sent to google and uh, we will use the information you give us to help address technical issues and to improve our services subject to our privacy policy and um, terms of service so i sent uh, i've submitted that form so that they can re review my channel because i was very certain i did not uh, violated any any community guidelines on such also my google account was disabled because it was associated with that channel they say that the google account blah blah at gmail.com is now disabled it looks like it was being used in a way that violated google's policies and we understand your account is important to you so if you think this was a mistake sign in to the disabled account and submit a request to restore it you need to do this soon because disabled accounts are uh, eventually deleted along with your emails contacts photos or um other data stored in google so i did not try to restore it because i was uh, positive that i will have my channel back and uh, my google account will be reinstated so i just uh, wrote uh, sent my appeal and after that i waited so i wrote my appeal at night it was almost past midnight and uh, the following day i got positive feedback from youtube youtube account notification so they say hi there after a review of your account the 
we have confirmed that your YouTube account is not in violation of our terms of service. As such, we have unsuspended your account. And this means that your account is once again active and operational. So if you got, if you forgot your password, please visit this link to reset it. Sincerely, YouTube team then they also sent another email after a few minutes that uh, we'd like to inform you that uh, they say that um, after a re review of your account you have confirmed that your youtube account is not in violation of our terms of services and as such we have uh, unsuspended it and this means your account is once again active and uh, uh, operational so it was good news and um they also said that uh, hello we have re-reviewed your account and have concluded that it is not in violation of our terms of service therefore we have unsuspended your account and this means it is once again an, an operational and in good standing so if you've forgotten your password please visit this link to reset it please do not respond to this email replies to this email will not be processed please refer to our help center for more information sincerely the youtube team so it is that simple so if you know you have no violations of youtube or other google's terms of service and you're certain your account was clean and in good standing and it was suspended it might be a computer error so you need to submit a form of appeal to request them to review your channel and uh, possibly if it was clean and in good standing they will uh, unsuspend it so you may ask what if i had a copyright strike and that one led to my account termination maybe you posted a content which you are not supposed to post like uh, somebody else's work or you had the music you used on your on your on, on, on your youtube video and uh, you you got um a strike from them so if you have uh, three strikes within three months obviously your account will be terminated too so what do you need to do if that happens let's learn together So if you have a copyright strike, maybe from the content you uploaded and um, YouTube will email you that uh, such a video has been taken down from your channel because the content had uh, some claims on it and maybe the owner might claim it or give you a copyright strike and when you are issued the copyright strike, they will automatically delete your, the video from your channel. So what you can do is you can send what we call counter notification. If you are sure that the content is rightfully yours and it was just a mistake, or if uh, it was posted and claimed by somebody, you can request them to retract their strike and reach an agreement because the strike automatically will affect your channel negatively. So you can write to the claimant. Normally, how you can reach them is normally displayed on the copyright section details. So YouTube will tell you like that um, due to multiple, multiple copyright strikes, your channel so and so was dis disabled. So if you believe the video was uh, a mistaken identity, you can uh, send a counter notification. And um, if uh, it wasn't, you can contact the claimant. You will see under details the it was uh, the copyright you can contact the claimant the information will be on the details on the channel so you could show the information how you can reach them via email mostly and uh, talk to them you can reach an agreement you might request them to retract the, the 
copyright and uh, you will delete the video or they retract it you keep the video on your channel but all the stats from that video plus the revenue if you are monetized already will go to them so it uh, depends on you too the agreement you will reach but if you are certain that uh, the content you posted is rightfully you are the hundred percent and uh, the, 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 the strike was a mistake. You can write to them and tell them. So you can write something like this. If you want to send a counter notification. So you can say that, um, hello, due to multiple corporate strikes, my channel blah, blah, blah was disabled. And I believe the video was a mistaken identity. And you tell them your reason. So after that, they might reply you. You can conclude, but I look forward to hearing from you with a positive response. Kind regard, tell your name. And um, there's a section where you swear. You will see that on the Google website. I swear under penalty of perjury that I have a good faith belief that the material was removed due to a mistake or misidentification of the material to be removed or disabled. I consent to the jurisdiction of the federal district court for the district in which my address is located, or if my address is outside the United States, the judicial dis district in which YouTube is located, and I will accept service of process from the claimant. Then you write all the information you need so after you send that um, youtube will reply you they will say thank you for your content notification if you have a good reason whether you you are feeling a content notification they will be able to honor your request and process it then they will tell you that you should remember that counter notification are only used when the content has been removed as a result of mistake or misidentification, which may include uh, exceptions like fair use. So keep in mind that using this process may result in the claimant filing a lawsuit against you for copyright infringement. So you should evaluate your legal position before filing a counter notification for any copyright strike. So if the owner agrees to retract, simply wait uh, for them to retract it. If they don't agree simply wait for your strike to expire if your account was not disabled if it was one strike or two so if you are sure that your video has been misidentified as infringing and you are willing to possibly defend your claim in court you can resubmit your account notification but be sure to explain in detail how you have all necessary rights to the video's content and if you don't know or want more information about um, copyright you can uh, ignore it and wait for three months for it to expire or visit the help center for YouTube. So you may also wish to ask uh, your legal counsel to determine if your video infringes someone else's uh, copyright. So be sure to send your channel link to and uh, all the link to all the videos they claimed or issued you with a strike and also display the name of the uploader your name and uh, what else you the link to the channel the video url channel url your contact information your full name your address and the contact information of the claimant their email address and uh, the name of who issued you with uh, a strike so I hope that one will be able to help you how to unban a suspended channel or how to deal with a copyright strike on your channel if you have one or two but remember avoid copyrighted content at all cost be it music video picture any any form of uh, copyrighted content create your own content have that originality so that you'll be certain that your channel is safe 
from anybody claiming the content you create on so i hope this has been helpful and uh, thank you so much for your support a like is always appreciated and remember to click on the subscription button if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and uh, smash on the bell bye bye and i'll see you next time